evening. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. Um, it is going to be a fun night. This is a, an incredible group of skilled musicians uh, and just the, the different instruments that they're going to play. Um, trust that if you haven't already, your toes are going to tap and you might want to clap. Feel free to do that. And you can even sing along. Some of the songs you may not know, I, I did not know. I had to look them up. Um, but looking forward to just a fun evening uh, together. And we've come together, as you know, to benefit uh, Nathan and Joyce and the, the, the child that God has de uh, designed for them, ordained for them. And uh, we're looking forward to being a part of that. So um, some of you have already asked, how do we give? What do we do? Um, we'll give you some more instructions later. If you look on your, uh, your program, flip to the back side, you can see um, some details of how to do that. But again, we'll look, explain it later. Trust that you, again, just uh, enjoy your time together. I know that that's the band's desire is that you uh, just enjoy being here and enjoy uh, the music that they share with us. And so let me open in a word of prayer and then uh, we'll let them continue to uh, just share with us tonight. Father, it is um, just a special joy to be here. Um, we're so thankful for um, the Hughes family and, and the siblings and, and in-laws and, and, and Lord, just the gifts that you've given to them uh, musically and the joy uh, that they have because of you. Lord, we thank you especially for uh, why we're able to be here tonight to celebrate and to share in adoption um, and just how that, uh, Father, so echoes your heart in the gospel. And so, Lord, we ask that you would uh, bless our time together this evening, that you would be honored, and, Lord, that we would uh, just be strengthened uh, from the time being together. We pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Well, we are excited to be here and jam with you guys tonight. Uh, just take a quick second here and introduce the band on stage. Uh, starting on the right over here, we've got Noah Joyner and his wife, Addie, back here on the mandolin. We've got Mary, Maggie, Laurel Anna, and Jordan Joyner. My wife, Audrey, and myself, Nathan Hughes. Daniel Jones back here on the guitar. And we've been jamming together for, for quite a few years. Actually, there's a few of us that aren't, aren't here tonight uh, just due to sickness. Um, but we've been practicing a lot, and we just we hope it's a fun time for you guys, as Pastor Rick said. Um, a lot of these songs, it's kind of a sampling, uh, so you'll hear some that mean a lot to the band, um, but then also a few Christmas songs, just because we really do want to usher in the Christmas season. Um, we pray this time is, is glorifying to the Lord, and uh, we really do hope you guys enjoy. This next song is Carol of the Bells.
tonight to support uh, Nathan and Joyce Abels and so if you guys would just stand up a second um, there they are right over here thank y'all thank y'all for being here to support them I just want to testify uh, how much they've contributed to my family's life um, from when we first came here uh, when Samuel was just about to be born they've been close to us and leading our small group and I know Audrey and I and our kids have benefited so much from their ministry. I'm sure many of you can, can just attest to that through their ministry in the church. Um, while you guys are standing up, Nathan, why don't you come on up here? Um, we've got a jug for Nathan to play. So he's going to get his very own special tonight on this next song, Old Home Place. So uh, you guys enjoy. This is why you don't make a joke about playing a jug. <laughs> I apologize in advance. <laughs>
tusks around me till my strength was almost gone. Longed my soul for something better, only still to hunger on. Hallelujah, I found him who my soul Don't worry, this is not an encore for me. Um, I just wanted to take some time to just kind of update you on the adoption and what we're doing, um, all that sort of that sort of stuff. Um, Nathan, Nathan kind of already got uh, that started with. Our small group was one of the first people that we told that we were going to start this adoption uh, process, which then culminated in them bringing their friends and their families to do this great concert for us. Uh, but it was also Audrey who first told us about Lifeline. And that's the organi organization that we're using to walk us through this um, adoption process. Lifeline then connected us with Life Song. Uh, which was, is the fundraising organization that we're using um, as well. And so uh, what Lifeline does is they do, um, they do, they do international adoptions uh, through, through orphanages, and they also do um, domestic baby adoptions as well. And so um, as God kind of has worked on our hearts for a, a few years now uh, towards this, this adoption journey for us, uh, we have decided to follow through with Lifeline and to do a domestic baby um, adoption as well. And uh, so far, uh, we're in the profile making page of, of, of this, this thing. And if it's sort of like the dating apps, Tinder or anything, that's what it feels like trying to make a profile. Because the way it works is that we have a birth mom uh, who is giving up her baby for adoption and then she will see our profile and then swipe left or right, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of how it ends up working. And so we're in that profile making uh, time right now. And uh, we're almost done. And when we're done with that, that is when the waiting begins as we wait for the Lord to move in people's hearts uh, for that one specific child or twins, who knows, um, for us to to adopt and uh, this isn't something that we were we didn't Joyce and I didn't get married and immediately think about adoption it wasn't something that was that was immediately on our minds or anything like that but God has worked in us over the past few years to move us to this place and you know scripture uses a number of different relationships to to uh, to really accentuate different aspects of the gospel um, you have Jesus who talks about laying his life down for his friends you have a husband and a wife as a reflection of Christ's love for the church. And so the husband and wife relationship is there. And adoption is, is, is one of the relationships that really accentuates 
God's sovereign choice and his grace towards us. That's what, and that's what the picture of adoption accentuates with the gospel in that Christ came, he lived a perfect life, he died on the cross, was raised from the grave so that any and all who would believe would be adopted as sons and daughters into God's family. Not that you were naturally there, you weren't, you weren't physically born into it, but God graciously plucked you out and chose you to be joined into his family. And that's the beautiful picture that adoption has today. And that happens because God is a redeeming God. He loves to see broken situations and redeem them. And so we're just glad that we have the opportunity to, to even slightly mimic what it is that our God does. And so that's why we're adopting. That's how we're doing it. So thank you again for being here.
This song that I'd like to share with you now is one that I had the privilege of learning while I was uh, living in Indonesia. It's just a simple Indonesian hymn, and the verse simply says, uh, Jesus, I will love you forever. I will love you forever. Even in the storms of life, I will love you. And then the chorus says, yes, Abba Father, I am your child, worthy of all your praise. Abba Father, I am your child, use me as you will.
to give them just a couple minutes to catch their, I guess not breath, but maybe your fingers rest. Uh, so, so appreciate them being here and uh, incredibly gifted. Uh, I can play the radio. That's, that's it. Nathan can play a jug now. That's it. So uh, those of you who play musical instruments, I uh, appreciate it as, uh, a great deal. So thank you so much for sharing your gifts with us tonight. Um, as, we're, as you know, we're here to benefit uh, Nathan and Joyce's adoption. And some of you have asked how do we give to that. So I want to just give a couple of things to you briefly. And uh, then we'll get back to the music this evening. Um, if you have the uh, concert order on the back side of that, there's two options. One is to write a check. If you'd like to write a check, um, don't make it to Christ Community Church. Make it to uh, Life Song for Orphans. And then as you leave this evening, you'll see a box um, outside. You feel, feel free to, um, to do that as you leave. Um, uh, if you want to do it while they're playing, you're welcome to do that. But uh, you probably don't want to get up and miss any of the music. But... I um, encourage you to do that. If you would rather give online or if you're joining us, um, if you're online now watching us uh, and you can't write a check, um, the, the best way to do it if you're here is there's a QR code. And I tried it. You just, those of you who are old like me or older than me, you open your camera app and point it to that and it'll pop up and you just click on it and then type in Abel's. And that'll give you, uh, take you right to Nathan Joyce Abel's adoption, and you're able to give there. If you're um, watching at home, it's uh, lifesong.org slash donate slash family. Um, lifesong.org slash donate slash family. And then type in Abel's, and that'll, that'll take you to uh, Nathan and Joyce Abel's, and you're able to, to give online. We're going to try to check that at the end of the concert tonight to give you just an update of what we've been able to to contribute tonight to, to their adoption. So I encourage you uh, to give in one of those two ways and uh, continue to uh, just be in prayer uh, as God um, prepares Nathan and Joyce and prepares that little boy or girl um, for them and for us. And also just one shameless plug, we do have church tomorrow here and uh, you're welcome to join us and not all of the band, not all of the band, all of the band is welcome. But not all of the band will be here, but, but parts of it will be here, and they'll be leading our worship tomorrow, so uh, I invite you to join us for that as well. Thank you. All right, we're getting into set three, if you're looking at your, your song list here. Uh, instead of Musical Priest, Addie and Laurel are actually going to come up and do a song called Moon River for you guys.
know, Joyce tried to get out of coming up here at all. That's not happening. Um, I know that's the end of your, your set list, but there's going to be one more. Uh, there's going to be there's going to be one more. Um, but I just before 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 we close with this, I just wanted to say a, a great big thank you um, to these guys. Uh, yes. So uh, this is this is a really big deal and and uh, f for us and we are incredibly thankful for it because I know you put in a lot of time and effort and practice and all of that stuff to be able to come and do this for us and to bless us the way that you have and so a big thank you for that and to Nathan and Audrey for roping all of you into it for us um, we are incredibly grateful uh, for you for that and. Uh, also, thank you to, to you for, for coming out and joining us for this or watching um, online as you can. Um, I do want to say that uh, I know so far we have raised um, just, just tonight uh, with this concert and a few people who gave beforehand um, $7,650. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that is huge. Like I cannot express to you how big of a deal that that actually is because Uncle Sam done said it ain't cheap to adopt. And this goes so far for us um, in us being able to enter into this adoption thing. And so a big thank you to those of you who have given and a big thank you to those who, who will. Um, this is this is incredible. It's, it's been awesome um, for us and to get this kind of a response. It's just been, it's really just been great. And so um, we thought, thought it would be fitting to close uh, with this last song that really magnifies the worth of Jesus Christ. And so the question that will be asked in this song is, is he worthy? And the refrain, of course, is, Yes, he, he is. He is worthy. Um, and we get today, tonight, um, just a little bit ex of extra insight into the worthiness of, his, of our God and how he supplies all of our needs in and through Christ and, and many times uses his body to do that. So thank you.
Thank you all very much. That's all for tonight. Thank you, Nathan and Joyce. We appreciate y'all. If, if I understand right, I think there's probably more dessert back there. Uh, Pastor Rick is saying yes, so we'll see y'all at the dessert table.